Hi, my name is Merel and today I'm going to give you some ideas for your travel journal. Let's say you're going on a holiday soon or you're going to travel all by yourself. You can remember all your great experiences by writing about them. There are so many different ways to do this, so let's go dive into it and I will tell you how I use my travel journal. Here are my essentials. Minimalism is key. Only grab the most important stuff. For example, a pencil, fine liner, a travel map and glue. You can put your essentials into a folder or in a small bag. I'm also going to use my own pictures today. I don't own one specific journal that I use for my travels. It really depends on the materials I'm going to use. This pocket sized journal is great because it is perfect for watercolors and you can also carry it along easily. I will put the link of my journal in the description of this video so you can check it out for yourself. This is the journal I'm going to use today. This is a spread that I did when I traveled to Copenhagen in Denmark. It was so nice to paint the houses. Your travel journal is the outlet for everything that will remind you of your amazing journey. So use whatever comes to mind and carry along a folder for random items that you will pick up as you go. Think of napkins with the brand of hostels where you're staying, travel maps, business cards, receipts, or add perf perfume test strips. You can also attribute one page to your favorites of the country that you're visiting. For example, food that you've never eaten before. You can both draw and write about it. If you don't have much time to write during your travels, make sure that you leave some space in your journal for keywords. Write down the following things. Where were you? What was the name of the place? Who was with you? What did you do? This will help you later to remember details of your travel and it doesn't take a lot of time. If you journal on the go, make sure that you leave some space for pictures that you will clue to the pages later. I am using my own pictures here and I would recommend you to do the same because it adds a personal touch. I added an envelope. You can save important things in here. Think of train tickets or receipts that you don't want to throw away. I love decorating my travel journal pages, but of course you don't have to do the same. When I'm traveling, I often create lists of things that I enjoy. Think of playlists or books that I have read. Sometimes I write down a list of things that make me feel grateful. I already mentioned before that you can tribute one journal page to the favorite places that you visited during your travels. Another thing that you can do to document your trip is to draw the inside of your backpack or suitcase. With my micro fine liner, I am tracing this backpack doodle. You can also document the flowers that you see. A fine liner is perfect to take with you on your journey because you can use it for both writing and drawing. When I travel and I don't have the time to grab my journal, I usually write notes on my phone. This makes it easy to remember details. I write down a playlist of my favorite songs during the travel journey and I will decorate it a little bit. I also write down my favorite memories from when I spent a couple of days in Paris. Eventually, I will finish the page with some doodles. This is washi tape that I bought at AliExpress. I still have some space left in my journal, so that's where I will put it. We're almost at the end of this video. I truly hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that it gives you inspiration to start your own travel journal. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. 
and if you would like to see more of my travel journal pages check my instagram middle journals i will see you in the new year bye bye